Malware is the general category for any program designed to harm or exploit computers. It includes viruses, worms, trojans, ransomware, spyware, adware, and more. It typically spreads by tricking users, for example through infected email attachments, fake downloads, or malicious links. Virus is a specific kind of malware that needs people to run or open it before it activates. Viruses often modify or corrupt the files they infect, and they try to spread by attaching themselves to other programs or documents. Once active, a virus can steal information, send spam, delete files, or even encrypt your data. Worm. It's like a virus but more aggressive. It can spread on its own without you clicking anything. Unlike a virus, a worm is a self-contained program that automatically copies itself across networks. For example, a worm might scan the internet for other vulnerable computers and copy itself onto them without any user action. Because they spread so easily, worms can consume bandwidth and crash systems, often forcing users to update or disconnect until the worm is removed. Trojan Horse It looks like a harmless software, but hides a malicious purpose. It pretends to be something useful, for example, a free game or tool, to trick you into installing it. Once inside, it might install a backdoor that lets hackers in, steal your data, record your keystrokes, or download more malware. Ransomware. It's malware that locks up your data and demands payment to restore it. Typically, a ransomware strain will encrypt, scramble, your files so you can't open them, then display a message demanding you send money to get the decryption key. If you don't pay, your files might stay encrypted or even be published online. Adware. Adware is malware designed to show you unwanted ads. It typically pops up banners or videos in your browser or system, trying to earn money for the attacker. While not always as dangerous as other malware, some adware can track your browsing habits or open hidden channels for more serious infections. Adware often comes bundled with free downloads. Though adware mainly irritates users by cluttering screens with ads, it can also slow down a computer and sometimes lead you to malicious websites if you click its ads. Rootkit A rootkit is stealth software that gives an attacker full hidden control of a computer. It disguises itself to avoid detection, allowing hackers to have administrator-level access without your knowledge. Rootkits often spread via other malware like Trojans or by tricking users into installing a compromised update. Once a rootkit is present, it's very hard to remove. Often only wiping and reinstalling the system can fully clear it. Keylogger. A keylogger is a type of spyware that records every key you press on the keyboard. Attackers use keyloggers to steal sensitive information like passwords, credit card numbers, or personal messages by simply capturing what you type. Keyloggers can be software, hidden programs, or even small hardware devices plugged into USB ports. You might get a keylogger by running a malicious email attachment or download. Some Trojans install keylogging capabilities on infected machines. Botnet A botnet is a network of infected devices, bots controlled by a hacker. Each infected computer, or IoT device, runs malware that lets the attacker issue commands remotely. Alone, one bot is harmless, but together they form a bot army. Cyber criminals use botnets for big attacks. Devices usually join a botnet when users download infected files or visit malicious sites. To prevent this, experts advise strong passwords on every device, especially IoT gadgets, and up-to-date security so your system can't be quietly turned into a bot. Zero-Day Exploit A zero-day exploit targets a software vulnerability that is unknown to the vendor, meaning there have been zero days to patch it. Attackers who discover these holes can suddenly break into systems before anyone knows about the flaw. A zero-day exploit is essentially the method used to attack with that unknown weakness. Because no patch or defense exists yet, zero-day attacks are very dangerous. They often spread via targeted emails or compromised sites. Once the vulnerability is discovered and patched, the zero-day window closes. Phishing Phishing is a trick where attackers send fake messages, like emails or texts, that pretend to be from a trusted source, aiming to steal your data. The scam could be an email that looks like it's from your bank asking to verify your account, or a link to a fake login page. When victims click or respond, the attacker can steal passwords, credit card numbers, or install malware. Social Engineering 
Social engineering is any attack that uses deception and human manipulation instead of technical hacking. It targets people's instincts and emotions to get them to reveal confidential info or do something unsafe. The attacker builds trust, so you'll lower your guard. Phishing is the most common type of social engineering. Because social engineering exploits human nature, the best defenses are awareness and training. Drive-by download. A drive-by download happens when merely visiting a malicious or compromised website causes malware to install on your device. You do not need to click anything. Simply loading the page can exploit a browser or plugin flaw and silently download code. For instance, if a popular website is hacked or contains bad ads, your computer might be infected just by viewing it. This malware can then hijack your device to steal data, mine cryptocurrency, or add your machine to a botnet. Logic Bomb A logic bomb is hidden malicious code that detonates when specific conditions occur. It's like a time bomb in software. For example, a disgruntled employee might insert a logic bomb that erases files on the company's server on a certain date. Until the trigger condition, date, user action, etc., is met, the code just sits dormant. Once activated, it can delete data, crash systems, or install other malware. Logic bombs are hard to predict because they lurk invisibly in normal programs. Fileless malware. Fileless malware is a stealthy type of attack that doesn't use traditional files on disk. Instead, it lives in the computer's memory or uses legitimate system tools. Because there are no files to detect, antivirus often misses it. Fileless malware can steal data or move laterally through networks after exploiting a browser or application vulnerability. Mitigating fileless threats requires behavior-based detection, looking for suspicious memory activity, and keeping systems fully patched. Backdoor. A backdoor is a secret method of bypassing normal authentication to access a system. It's often installed by malware like Trojans or rootkits. Once in place, a backdoor lets the attacker in at will without needing the user's password. Think of it as a hidden back entrance for hackers. Backdoors let attackers remotely control your computer as if they were you. They can exfiltrate data, install more malware, or spy on you.